Hello guys, that's what we will achieve by the end of today's tutorial. So without further ado, let's jump into it head first. Okay guys, now we'll be coding selection of the tile. So let's jump into it. All right, so we are back where we started. We go to our tile prefab and open our prefab. Let's see our tile. What we need, obviously, is we need some kind of a component that will decide what kind of a sprite is being displayed. So we'll create tile logic script, attach it to our... Also, we need a collider. Actually, box collider won't do. We need a polygon collider. And as a matter of fact, we can already edit the collider by having points. We will have one path and the element size will be obviously four. We don't need five. And just follow my typings because we want to have points like this. Because the area we want to be interactable is the top of the tile, correct? It doesn't really matter whether the side view of the tile exists or how long is it, how short, how colorful, whatever. The top of the tile is the interactable area. So after we create by hand this uh, collider like this, we can now put the exact values. So as you can see, 0.5 here, minus 0.5 here, 0 0.25 here, 0, 0, 0 0.5, 0 0.25. And everything is fine so far. Now we go to our tile. We delete all of this. So we need an access to our polygon collider. We we'll call it collider 2D, or just collider for the sake of it. In the awake method, we, need, we want to grab this collider, or we can assign the collider by hand, but I prefer to grab it. So we go with get component of the type polygon collider, and that's really it, so it will always grab the collider that's attached to the object we are currently using. We don't need a wake. We need two sprites, right? So we also need an access to sprite renderer. Sprite sprite renderer, call it sprite renderer. We need also an access to the sprite we'll be showing. So we'll go with public sprite tile unselected. Copy this one. Go with tile selected. And right now in the awake we will also grab our sprite renderer it is of a type sprite renderer we can assign the sprite to be tile unselected every time it is created so that we have uh, so we are sure that it will be unselected um, at first all right now we need two methods on mouse enter and on mouse exit. Actually the logic behind this is pretty straightforward. On mouse enter we change the sprite to tile selected. On mouse exit we change the sprite to tile unselected. So we can even copy this line of code, paste it here, paste it here, here we'll just change it to tile selected and run our code and see if it works and it should work because why wouldn't it first of all we need to assign the sprites they're all selected all selected and right now as you can see it is being rendered pretty much correctly uh, one more thing is that whenever we hover over our tile it is being rendered incorrectly. Beforehand it was rendered correctly due to the fact that 
that the sorting was being done by default in the order of creating those items but right now whenever we reset the sprite as we can see it goes up which is not something we want to do so okay so we go to edit project settings and here in graphics first we change the sort mode to custom axis we change z to 0 and we change y to 1 and when we run our code again it works like charm yes and as you can see we have created our very nice tile system where we can select the tile uh, the mouse pointer is currently hovering over so whenever we put our cursor this tile is being selected yeah in next episode I will show you how to select the tile not just show which one we are currently choosing but select one and then change the selection basing on the clicking on another tile okay guys thank you for watching and see you in the next video